Welcome to Tuesday News with some latest events in Tanning Province. The audience, Tanning Province So People's Committee has submitted to the Standing Committee of the Province So People's Council the unused sources in the provincial budget in 2021 and their ration for these sources. According to the Provincial Appeals Committee, the total unused amount of the provincial budget in 2021 is about 1,111 billion Vietnam dong, of which the increase of provincial budget revenue, 330.7 billion Vietnam dong, the remaining provincial budget, 780.6 billion Vietnam dong, the additional central budget, 95 million Vietnam dong, the Provincial Appeals Committee is expected to use them to supplement the sources of salary reform to compensate for the reduced provincial budget revenue and to cover the reduced land rent and land use levy in 2021. The province will also transfer over 39 billion Vietnam dong of funding for COVID-19 prevention and control to 2022. In the process of managing expenditure estimates from the provincial budget in 2021 to 2022, the Provincial Appeals Committee as the standing committee of the Provincial Appeals Council to allow the agency to actually allocate and assign estimates to units in 2022 in line with the actual situation and reporting to the Provincial Appeals Council the implementation results at its year-end session as prescribed. The party committees and authorities at all levels of the Ning province have been strengthening leadership and direction for site clearance, helping projects to keep construction on schedule. Site clearance is believed to be one of the reasons for the slow progress of construction projects, with public investment capital leading to slow disbursement of capital. According to the assignment of the Provincial People's Committee, the Department of Natural Resources and Environment is coordinating with relevant departments and agencies to advise the committee on solutions to speed up the compensation and site clearance work closely coordinated with relevant units to promptly handle problems and difficulties of investors related to the land price appraisal process and compensation plan actively support and guide the divisions of natural resources and environment and the district land fund development centers in carrying out procedures regarding compensation and site clearance. Over the last time, agencies and units have coordinated closely and synchronously in performing the task of site clearance from statistics, tally to appraisal, confirmation of appraisal results of compensation plan and support for site clearance. They have also posted information and strengthened inspection and handling of violations, as well as prevention and control of violations in compensation and resettlement assistance. Under the direction of the and Provincial Police Department, on October 1st, the Traffic Police Office directly guided and inspected the centralization of motorcycle registration in four communes of Châu Thành and Tân Biên districts. There are four communes with a number of motorcycle registrations, exceeding 150 vehicles per year, being eligible for decentralization of motorcycle registration under the direction of the Office of the Ministry of Public Security on continuing to centralize the motorcycle registration to the commune level police. The record shows that the motorcycle registration in these four communes has been carefully repaired from equipment to professional staff. Most of the locals here express their excitement because it saves more time than before. Besides, all necessary procedures for the registration are carried out right at the commune police stations. The decentralization of renting registration of license plates for motorcycles and cars to commune and district levels is one of the activities implemented seriously across the country to promote administrative reform, helping people save time and effort for the registration of ownership and use of means of transport, and also reducing pressure on the superior police unit.
Baden John Stock Company recently held the opening ceremony of Baden Ginshen Restaurant, located in Tung Trung Hamlet, Tung Ben Commuting City. Abel Mosker's saturated folios has long been appreciated as a precious folk medicine with the richness in nutritional content and special active ingredients. The root of Abel Mosker's saturated folios brings great effects in medicine. More than just a remedy, Abel Mosker's saturated folios is now combined with foods to be processed into nutritious dishes. But then Jinshan Restaurant was born with a desire to become a reliable place to attract tourists when coming to Sydney province. Visitors will also have the opportunity to admire the products on display, such as powder, tea, bath, and wine, made from Abel Mosker's saturated folios. In 2021, the Abel Mosker saturated folios tea bath of Baden Farm Company has been voted and recognized as a typical rural industrial product at the provincial level. Turn to other news. The audience, the writing contest about good people around us, was launched by the steering committee of the movement on people unite to build cultural life and family work in Tanning Province. After a period of time, the contest has received many interesting and meaningful entries from official civil servants, public employees, laborers, and soldiers of the armed forces, as well as people in the province. The interests are written about typical examples of collectives and individuals who are working, studying, and living in the province. Those who have good, creative ways of doing things, ideas, and experience that are effective, practical, and highly educational. Many interests are presented beautifully, elaborately, creatively, richly illustrated, and closely related to reality. There are also freely handwritten interests that express feelings of respect for the written objects and the author's enthusiasm for the contest. The author's autobiographical works may not be good, but it is their admiration and sincerity for their teachers, brothers, sisters, and friends. Just in a short period of time, all contestants also participated in all contests. I think the contests were also successful. Hopefully, with this success, we will disseminate more widely in the fields related to the campaigns of the steering committee of the movement on people unite to build cultural life. Their winning was not only spread the goodness of people with beautiful actions to contribute to the social community, but also through it to promptly discover, rise, and honor advanced examples in patriotic emulation movement in the fields of work, study, production, and social life. Their 19 interests are 19 stories with their own color and emotions. 19 examples with a different situation, a different place of living, but they all have one thing in common, that from consciousness to action, they wholeheartedly contribute to the common good of the community. I found that this contest very useful and meaningful because it has spread good examples for everyone to follow. I am also very happy to receive such an honorable award. I think it will help me get motivated to strive harder in the future. The contest has contributed to propagating patriotic emulation movement, spreading story of deeply human value, fighting our advanced examples, new models and factors that make positive contributions to the community. The audience, in recent years, many farmers in Tanning have changed their farming methods which has brought economic efficiency. Some households in Thanh Thuong Hamlet, Thanh Ding Khamil, have chosen to plant lotus for root porridge, both bringing stable income and providing the market with foods of natural origin. Lotus grows the most in provinces of Long An, Tinh Giang and Dong Thap, of which Dong Thap has successfully developed Dong Thap Pink Lotus brand. Meanwhile, Long An also has an area specializing in lotus farming and is a place to supply seeds to other provinces, including Tenen. Currently, the lotus growing area in Tending Commune to Tan District, Tenen Province, is gradually being expanded. 
The Lotus Planting Model in Thandien Khamil is a new one, bringing high economic benefits to farmers here. The model is currently being developed and replicated not only in Thanh Thuận, but also other hamlets in the Hon Khamil, aiming to bring economic benefits to farmers. The soil here is said to be contaminated with alum. Each year, the farmers in Thanh Thuận hamlet can only produce one grass crop. Then the lotus tree took their root in the difficult land. The hard-working farmers found a new direction for their production activities. The lotus farming for root forest has gradually developed. To do so, the farmers here also have to go through the process of learning from experience. To grow lotus, people often choose an area with a stable depth and subsidence, where it's difficult to grow rice but suitable for lotus. They often plant on an area of 0.4 to 0.5 hectares. Investment costs are low but bring high economic profits, so most farmers combine with each other to plant lotus. Lotus is an aluminium-tolerant plant. It's easy for the farmers to care for and take them lower cost, but they can harvest every day. The average harvest every morning is 10 kilograms of lotus root porridge, which is enough for living expenses. The households in Thanh Thuong Hamlet plant lotus on an area ranging from 1 to 6 acres of land, so they keep harvesting steadily. Typically, the household of Mr. Lam Nguyen Khan, his family has also been attached to the lotus tree for nearly three years, with the same area and taking care of more than three months. It had a surprise gave an income of more than 20 million vietnam dong, while lotus gave them over 100 million vietnam dong. The farmers have their way of harvesting. Lotus must also be harvested in time, otherwise they have to wait for the next batch and water is required to be clean and unpolluted. Lotus growers can specialize in lotus cultivation all year round. A choose one lotus crop and one rice crop is currently the lotus growing season in Thanh Thuong Hamlet because a lot of water pours from Vam Kodong River. Wherever the water blows, the lotus will reach there. Lotus root porridge, a delicacy of the countryside, is now a delicious dish that is very popular with customers. It can be said that the motto of growing lotus for root porridge has contributed to improving the value of arable land and income for farmers. That's all for today's TV News. Thanks for watching and see you next time.